Jay Z. Meek Mill. <laughs> Meek Mill. Meek Mill now don't look at Drake as competition. He don't. He can't. Well, Drake made back to back. He definitely can't. This is what I'm saying. They on different Wait, slow planes. Down, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Why can't he? Because they are just on different planes. They're on different planes. They're on different social statuses. What puts them on different planes? Finances. Finances. Oh, y'all. Influence. Yo, y'all not getting out of here for another five hours. You get what I'm saying? Like this. Finances, influence, shit like Let that. Let me offer them- resistance to you. It's not our, it's, it's not, they go to the same parties, so, right? No. They both know billionaires. True. But I'm with you on the finance part. Now, so if it's only finances. And and influence. I said two. Oh, you always lose that. You, you feel what I'm saying? Drake then, is then influential. I, then, I, then, I, then, I, then I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Drake is influential. He's just not rich. He's influential. But if it's if he it's not say too many times. If it's not influence and it's only finances, then you could not, definitely look yes. at him as competition. Yeah, because you know <laughs> Nigga, you just got five hundred mil debatable. You maybe got more. Maybe more. No, no, no. Time out. He got 400, 500 from that one deal. That's oh, not sure, counting what sure. he got before he That's signed not, that no. deal. Well, he has to be at a B. None of his other deals. He's at a B. And Whether he wants to dispose of it or not. By the time you not. know it, he'll be at 10. <laughs> yeah, right? So listen. <laughs> but if I'm Meek, not no, Meek, no but anybody else. No, no shout to Meek. But yo, dog, if I'm at 900 million and you at 50 million, it's a very big difference. We say that because we don't got it. Mm. That nigga says too many times in songs. I can call the niggas and get you in this country when you can't get in. I believe him. <laughs> I hate to tell you, I believe him. Yeah, but that's why I'm not addressing Joe, that other stuff you're we, saying. You can't. You, yo, I have nothing to say to you're that. Rich. The influence is different. You're but rich. if we only talk in money, <laughs> you can't get a nigga in the U.S. That can't. That's come on over your. In, that's on to, to the influence. Yeah, you, yeah. I have nothing to say. Yeah. I'm only attacking the money. If piece. Ice has a hundred million and had, been, had a hundred million for man, way longer than mm-hmm. I've had a dollar. True, true, true. Well, no, not a dollar, but a million. I, 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 get, I get something. But I'm in the right circles, mm-hmm. and I believe in my business plan. Mm-hmm. Then that guy feels like the phone could ring at any second, and I could get a hundred. I could get now. twenty, and now or, I'm on my way or, to hundred. Gotcha. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. He's hopeful that. Like that finance part could change in the blink of an eye. But that the, other shit, no, you. But you know it's, what? It's, it's Ice has had a hundred so long that his circle for the last fifteen years are them niggas. That when your daughter gets caught with X Y Z, guess what happened? I picked the phone up. She coming right home, and this shit and gonna go going under away. the table. It's going away. It's gone. You that pal? You gotta get to that level over time. You get what I'm saying? Like, it ain't just the money. Like, in one of Donald Trump's books, right? Um, like, I used to be a huge Donald Trump fan. So I've read all the nigga books. And he talks about this rich-ass dude. I watched that, The Apprentice. That was responsible for running all of the fiber optic cables under Manhattan. Mm-hmm. This is the 90s or the 80s, right? He said the nigga was mega rich, like three, 400 million in the 80s. Mm-hmm. But the dude couldn't get in the restaurant. On a popping night. He would have to call Donald Trump so Donald Trump could call a maitre d' to get him into restaurants. Believable. Right? Mm-hmm. So he had a shit ton of money, but he didn't have the necessary influence the with the movers yeah, yeah. and the shakers to make shit happen. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think the both of the things are true. So that's why I say no disrespect to Meek at all. Meek and Drake are on different levels. So now I don't even think Meek would pick a beef with Drake. Because they just want... Control? They just on different levels. <laughs> Yo. 